Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to get Apex Legends for free, yes, for free, on your Chromebook. So what you want to do is go ahead and hook it up to your computer. Now I don't have an HDMI cable, it has to be HDMI, but I have used a USB Type-C cable and connected it to a laptop so I can then plug in the HDMI cable to my PC. And now from there, you want to go ahead and plug in an iPhone, it has to be iCloud locked. If it's not iCloud locked, Steve Jobs will come out from under your bed and scare you. So make sure that it's iCloud locked iPhone. I have an iPhone 6 Plus here. And it also has to have a headphone jack, all right? If it doesn't have a headphone jack, don't worry. You don't have to go buy an adapter or anything. Just go ahead and drill a hole right here, all right? It'll be fine. There's just like an empty space that Apple left there, so yeah. Once you're done with that, go ahead and plug in a lightning cable. And then you can go ahead and re-adapt that to a USB-A connector with an OTG cable, of course. And then I have an aux cord plugged in to this smartphone in a Google Cardboard right here. And on that smartphone, I have a micro USB. And that micro USB cable goes straight to this motherboard, CPU and RAM, all right, on the back IO. Now this doesn't need any power, we just need more processing power to run Apex Legends, of course, so yeah, this is definitely a must. So once you go ahead and get that handled, you wanna plug in a DVD drive, I have it portable, so it's plugged into power right there. Let me go ahead and turn it on, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the other USB to a fast charger, if you have an iPhone, you probably won't have this, but yeah, it needs to be a fast charger. You can go ahead and plug that into my US, uh, my 3DS charger with some twist ties, of course, and plug it into my 3DS XL. It has to be an XL, the old one, of course. Now, before I turn on my 3DS XL, I want to go back to my main PC, turn it on for just a second, and whenever the fans ramp down, I'm going to go ahead and turn off again alright and now I need to give my laptop some power so I'll go ahead and plug that in as well and now the PC turning off and on see there it has some power and now I can go ahead and turn it on and it should go right off the second I turn it on so you see it turns on and it turns off great now that means that it's going to work so give it a second it'll try and boot up but it'll fail yep so yeah that's all good now I can go back to the 3DS XL and go ahead and turn it on. Okay, now once my 3DS XL boots back up, I want to go ahead and open up the 3DS Sound app. I'll just give it a second to, you know, get into the app. Alright, so whenever the 3DS Sound app opens up, you can go ahead and just skip all these tips, we don't really need that. And my 3DS is modified, so I'm going to have to dig around a little bit, but I should have like a new sound file now. I didn't have one before. Okay, I think it'll be in 3DS. Let's try that. There we go. It's the Apex code. This is a special code that if we do not copy it down, we will not be able to run the game. So I can go ahead and hit play here. Oh, I don't think you can hear that. Let me move it up just a bit. Let's just remove the headphones. Let's try that one more time. All right. I think that was about 9. So I'll go to my calculator over here, type in 9, alright, and divide that by 2. Okay, we get 4.5. So on my Chromebook here, as you can see, it's a Google Chromebook, nothing special. I'm going to go to the File Explorer and go ahead and search, or just go into the search box and type in the number I have before. So 4. Point five. So once I do that, I have 4.5. I want to go back to the laptop, and by now it's turned back off. I'm going to go ahead and hit that right there. All right. And it should uh, have that pop up again. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and on my Chromebook. Come on. There we go. think it's gonna work guys and as you guys can see with this simple method you can play Apex Legends for free see there we go and this also enables cross-platform mode so you can play on console and uh, PC as well. 
So there you go. Now the controls on the keyboard won't work. I have to get a controller, but I don't have one. So if I try and like you know, press anything, it just won't work. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. And I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. But if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.